Welcome to the Gear Channel. Dan here with Elk Shape. We are guest starring on the channel today. Where is Tyler? I'm not sure. This is the Montana Knife Blackfoot 2.0. Obviously a Magnica edition. All these products will come with the Kydak belt. You can take that part off if you don't want to run it on your belt. I generally do. It's two quick little Allens and it's free. This is what we use in the backcountry 2024. Let's talk about backcountry energy light storage solutions for your elk hunt. If you're going to want to recharge your mobile device, obviously because you're on Onyx every day looking at your tracking, checking out the new topo lines that Onyx came out with, which are incredible. By the way, make sure that your Onyx is updated. Taking photos, videos, sending out text via inReach, or maybe you have service. Anyways, usually the mobile phone is the number one thing to charge. Maybe you'll need to charge your Garmin Mini inReach you know, periodically with a USB-C. The other things that we charge up is for us, it's like batteries for cameras, like DSLRs, action cameras, things like that. There's always something that needs to be charged. We also have a backcountry boot dryer. We have all sorts of things to charge. So you need to have something that's reliable. Battery bank, Poseidon Pro, waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, et cetera, et cetera. I generally run two of these in the backcountry. This is what it will come like in the box. You should get two, three charges on your phone. That's from pretty dang low to 100%. Uh, you can charge a lot of stuff and then you can keep it charged in the backcountry with their new Spectre. I'm gonna show you how to set that up, including the tripod. But I, I love that it's waterproof. I've had these things get soaked and, and do really well, which is awesome. So on the back here, you have your normal USB, you have your USB-C, which is huge. And you can have a little light right here on the side as well, if you're into that. I'm gonna primarily use this as a USB-C to charge it. So directly to USB-C, and then we're gonna utilize the Spectre lightning cable for the old iPhone, whatever you use. If you're an Android person, you ain't gotta worry about that. This is it, 18 watt solar panel. It's gonna come like this. These are gonna be your kickstands. Obviously, depending on the time of year and the amount of direct sunlight is gonna dictate how fast this thing charges, but these things work well. We tested them this year in spring. This one has three panels, which is absolutely awesome and is what you want to take care of business. Guys, all right, so here's the kickstand installed. Super easy, I just showed you how to do that. Three panels. This will charge a Poseidon with good daylight, four hours top. So like if you're gonna have a midday lull and it's super light, packable you want to charge this up while you're glassing in the mornings in the evenings what have you this is going to work real well or you can leave it back at your spike camp that's a lot of times what i'll do and i'll just pack two poseidons one on me fully charged and the other one back at camp kind of point it towards where the sun will be for majority of the day you'll have it charged up ready to go and again you should be able to get your cell phone charged up two or three times with one poseidon and four hours is pretty fast so that's that's kind of like september vibes when the, when you still have pretty good daylight this is made from the same material as the original Spectre on the single pan. Now you have three, so it is flexible, it is tough. You can kind of beat it up, shove it in your pack, and it's not gonna break. There are two ports on this side. However, if you wanna double charge, maybe you have two Poseidons, it's going to cut half the charge. It's going to double the amount of charge time. So just something to keep in mind, I generally only plug in one at a time. And speaking of the two ports, it is a regular USB and a USB-C on the ports in this. So I generally go USB-C to USB-C. That's less cables to bring anyways. And with this, it does include the kickstand, which does seem to fold up. And it's not too cumbersome, honestly, and that's going to be able to get that up off the ground at the right angle so that you can fully charge. This is from Dark Energy. This is the Spectre. This is a very durable, very light, 18 watt Spectre three panel from Dark Energy. This is what I'm gonna be running this year. I do two Poseidons. Uh, we do have a discount code right here. Save you a little bit of loot on this stuff. This is what we use in the backcountry. This is kind of a cool design, pretty slick. All right, so Wild Meat Gear, this is the stamp. This is the new improved stamp. Here is your stamp ink. That is what you'll pour into here. This is your stamp, boop, boop but your paper, you can label it. So what are you labeling? A lot of new options for this new stamp from Wild Meat Gear. I like it because I can stamp, Lord willing, it'll say elk backstrap 24. And so my wife, when she's going through, she might see some bulls that are maybe some leftover elk meat from last year that'll say 23. 
she'll know to kind of pull for those first. Also, when you're looking for a specific cut, maybe you're looking for burger, you're looking for sausage, you're looking for tenderloin or a roast, whatever. It just speeds up the process. If you're doing cooking at home, it's very well labeled and it's for you DIY butchers. And guys, I strongly recommend you butcher your own animal. Even if you don't have reps or have all the equipment, it'll take you a long time. You'll appreciate it. I think you'll make really particular detailed cuts on your meat. You can also let your meat age a little longer. And Jason has a cool system that we haven't done a video on. We've done one video, I'll link it here, but we're hopefully gonna do several where you can kind of have a portable meat locker where you can literally use it, pop out his tent, get yourself a cool bot and an AC one, and an AC mounted 15,000 BTUs, override it, run it, get your meat hanging for, I would like to go two weeks, honestly, at between 35 and 40 degrees, then butcher my meat. You also can pack that on the road with you if you're in a place where you have a generator. A wall-mounted air conditioner with at least 10,000 BTUs and a cool bot, you're overriding it and you're rocking and rolling. So something to consider. And then your cuts for meat is brisket, backstrap, burger, heart, liver, ribs, roast, sausage, shank, steak, stew, tenderloin, and the species is bear, beef, caribou, cougar, elk, goat, hog, mule deer, moose, pronghorn, sheep, and white-tailed deer. This is a cool little system for you DIY butchering guys. I hope more of you do that in the coming year. Last but not least, mod sod. I had one, Josh Jones from Spoken Valley Archery, put him Archer, literally stole it. So um, I, I think they came out with a new and improved mod saw. I've been running that Carbon Express saw since Josh stole mine, and I did like their mod saw. I had a good review for it, and I don't know who makes these, and um, I really appreciate you sending me this updated version. Let's check it out real quick. This is something that would probably do better on my elk shape channel. It's more of archery stuff, but if you guys like cutting your own arrows, this is the way. Could probably leave this mounted right here. You can bolt it in, you can square your ends, you can make your cut right here. I'll show you guys. So you got a little Dremel saw right here to make your cuts. You can square the end of your arrow here. You have a tape measure so you can make sure that you have an exact carbon to carbon consistent cuts and you can even square them off and spin test, wobble test for your broadheads. Cool product. I believe you can hook up a little shop back right here so you can suck that carbon dust out and not breathe it. This is cool. I'll get this all set up, but I wanted to give them a shout out because quite honestly, I don't deserve one of these. And the fact that mine got stolen from my buddy means that it's probably a pretty good product. Hey guys, we love elk hunting. It's so hard. No smiles ever. Definitely a double digit day. Separations in the preparation. A lot of bugles across the canyon today where I've been hunting. This is a channel dedicated to inspiring you to be the best version or aspire to be the best version, the best hunter, the best dad, the best firefighter captain, just the best dude that you can be.